The building research establishment, fire research section, was commissioned by BAA PLC to hold a hot smoke test at Gatwick Airport during the night of the 3rd and 4th of November 2003. Hot smoke tests are used to simulate real fires within buildings. And this one was held in the newly built Pier 2 main passenger core. The test was held to assess the building's fire protection measures, to examine the smoke movement, and to gain experience and confidence in the use of hot smoke tests and their value to BAA more widely. Russ Timpson, BAA's Group Fire Strategy Manager, briefly explains the test's purpose and method. The video that you're about to see is a record of the hot smoke test that was conducted at uh, Gatwick on the 3rd and 4th of November 2003. Uh, the purpose of this test is to validate all of the systems that are inside the building and how they react when, when a, a simulated fire occurs inside the building. Uh, the process that we're going to follow is that scientists from the BRE will light a simulated fire inside the building, which is, in, which is the fuel of which is industrial methylated spirits, into which we'll uh, put in a theatrical smoking agent so that we can see the smoke. Uh, we will smoke log the building. Um, when the test is complete, we'll then use a positive pressure ventilation fan to clear the smoke and uh, trial and evaluate how effective that is. Uh, the purpose of this is to first of all assure life safety for all the people in the building, uh, but secondly we can also make sure that all the systems work as designed if and when a fire occurs inside the building. The test was conducted by scientists from the building research establishment and held in the newly built Pier 2 main passenger core segregation project. was planned over a number of weeks. It included meetings with representatives from all those involved, including the local and airport fire services, the airport's engineering teams, terminal management and airline and handling agents. Formal fire risk assessments were carried out. Key risks identified were endangering the occupants of the building, damage to the building and its systems, disruption to the business process, the project and development process, and negatively affecting the brand image if the test went wrong. A detailed method statement was produced by the building research establishment in conjunction with the principal contractor and agreed with the fire safety officer. These risks were mitigated by carrying out the tests at night when the number of occupants in the building was at its lowest, and ensuring that the heat source was in a location where damage to sensitive finishes was least. The BRE calculated a heat load that could be accommodated without damaging such finishes. Temperature gauges were located in strategic places to check that the actual heat generated compared with their figures. Most damage in a fire is caused by smoke. In a newly completed building, this is not acceptable and so the heat source for the test was created by burning methylated spirits and the smoke by a smoke generator using theatrical smoke. Before the test was carried out, the fire systems were commissioned conventionally to check the cause and effect operated correctly. After the test, the system was again activated using conventional means to assure the fire prevention officer and building control that the test had not been detrimental to the system. The airport fire brigade was in close attendance throughout the test. The fire prevention officer maintained a constant communication link with the terminal monitoring centre. This was to prevent unnecessary evacuations should smoke from the test escape into the terminal areas. At 20.30 hours, a test briefing meeting and safety review were held with all those taking part. Before the test commenced, fire doors and lifts were checked to ensure that they were in the correct positions and in full working order. By 2200 hours, the setup of the test, location of the heat source, the smoke generator, and the temperature sensors were all ready for a final inspection. 
2300 hours, the test began.
By 0200 hours, the test was completed. Smoke dissipated from the test area, the fire doors and ventilation system reset. Before the clear-up operation was initiated, an informal debrief was held. The BAA's first hot smoke test was judged to be highly successful and an invaluable help in assessing the effectiveness of fire protection measures and examining smoke movement. It has also given BAA invaluable experience and confidence in the arrangement and operation of smoke tests.